All right, welcome back to Linda Street's Outdoors. I was in the middle of setting up, had an iFish Pro go off, go over there, and it was a tank. I don't know what it was, probably a big pike. Starts tugging, breaks right through the fluorocarbon. So I'm in a new spot and there seemed to be some pretty big fish here. And that was really fast. Maybe within eight minutes, iFish Pro went off. So this new spot might be pretty good. I'm marking fish below me too. So maybe we'll get into a good jigging bite, but it should be good. It's really cold outside but the fish seem to be biting. This is a new spot, and I'm gonna finally find the ice fishing Mondo this year. So uh, hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe, because we got a ton of content coming this year. And uh, let's go get some Mondos. All right, there we go. The first fish of the day, beautiful bluegill. Absolutely crushed my T-Rip. I didn't have the camera rolling because of, of course the fish bites and the camera's not rolling, but God, take a look at the colors on that guy. Not a super slab, but definitely a nice healthy fish. Good size, fought like a beast. I'm gonna let him back, see if we can't get some more, but man, he killed the T-Rip. Absolutely crushed it. Look at that. Oh boy. We got a flag. Messing with the Aquaview. And I heard the iFish Pro go off. Let's go get him. Oh boy. Here we go, 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 here we go. Probably. Here we go, here we go. Ah, come on! Line's tight. Line is tight. Oh, he's on there, he's on there. Please don't be a big old pike. I mean, whatever it is, I want to catch it. Hooked up. Beauty. <laughs> there we go. Woo. Nice little bass, absolutely crushed it. That shiner is all the way gone. It's real windy and cold, so we're gonna get him back in the water, but first tip up fish of the day, beauty. All right, let me get this guy unwrapped here. I just watched this guy on my Aquaview. There was two of them down there, so let's see if we can get the second one, but. Oh, this is a nice gill. Wish my hands weren't so big to make fish look small, but about the size of my hands and I'm a 6'4 dude. That is how you measure a bluegill. That is a nice fish. He was hot on it too. I wish I was recording on the Aquaview, but uh, boy, did he hit it hard. And he had a buddy down there that tried to steal it from him. So uh, I'm gonna drop down again once I get this hook out. But man, oh man, did he hit it. Absolute beauty. Well, we got another flag. I heard it go off again. Love that the iFish pros. I don't even have to pay attention. I'll just hear them go off. That plastic flag hits. Oh, this is that same shiner from the last one too. He was alive still. Surprised it went off again so fast. Oh, he's ripping, he's ripping, he's angry. <laughs> Got to get the camera set up real quick. Here we go. Oh, he's taking line. Ah! All sorts of slush in the hole. Free up the drag. Oh, this is a better one. Got a lot more weight, but he's not tugging too hard. Kind of dead weight in me. It's like he doesn't even know I'm here. Bet you he gets up by the ice and goes on a big run. Oh, he's in the weeds too. Come here. Oh, he's getting heavy. What? How are you this small? I just got played by a 12 inch bass. Whew, he's got that shiner deep. 
I'm gonna have to get him back in the water before his fins freeze up. Man, the way he was fighting there, he got down deep in the weeds. Oh, what do you know? I left my pliers over here. All right, you can keep the shiner, buddy. Oh, well. That wasn't what we were thinking it was gonna be. Oh. Must have had my line caught in the ice or something, but he was fighting me like he was a tank. He just had so much weight behind him. I don't know what he was doing. But hey, a fish is a fish. Still pretty fun. Good to see the flags are going off. Gotta get another shiner on that tip up. But uh, that seems to be the hot spot. That's about where the drop off is. I think that's in about five feet. And I'm out in about 10 feet here, kind of in a little hole. They seem to really like that drop off there. That flag's gone off three times itself. So, pretty cool. All right, I got bored of jigging and set a tip up inside the shack and it just went off in front of me. Hopefully the wind doesn't knock over the camera. But I'm fairly sure we've got a tip up fish on. Yep, we do. Come here, you. What are ya? Oh, a decent bass. Oh, if that ain't some of the most fun stuff ever. He got a little jacked up, but hey. Set a tip up at my feet. I heard it go off. And there we are. A nice, beautiful bass. Oh. And the shiner is swimming in the hole. Look at him. Absolute beauty. It's kind of nice to catch them in here too because then you don't got to worry about the uh, the wind and the cold outside freezing up their fins or eyes. A little safer for the fish to be caught out of the wind and out of the cold. Holy, I got to get more of these treble hooks. That guy was not coming off. All right, last little look. There he goes. Nice little safe release. And now I have a whole mess of line to deal with. <clears throat> kind of figured, eh, jigging's getting slow. Maybe I'll throw a tip up here at my feet because I didn't have any bobbers with. Otherwise I would have set out maybe a nice bobber rod. But uh, the firehouse proved pretty lethal. Sitting here at my feet, a little dead stick out front. I should have had the uh, aqua view down there watching it. I'll do that next. All right, well, that is going to do it for today's video. I did get that last bass on the tip up at my feet, but no giants today. I was still looking for a big one. We did have one on right away. The first fish was something huge. I could not get any leverage on it. It was just rip and drag. And then I felt it turn its head and the fluorocarbon got sliced in half. So what can you do? I didn't have super heavy gear on and the big fish decided to break off. But it was a good time. Caught some, caught some good fish at a new spot. Had some nice bluegills under me. Caught a couple of those. Caught some bass. It's a pretty good day. New spot. Found a nice little flat full of weeds and there were some fish. So it was pretty good. I'm excited to keep coming out here. Got to have a couple of really nice ice fishing days in the next week. So a whole bunch of content is coming. So get subscribed for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.